Good morning, guys. It is Thursday. It is June 1st. <laughs> and that means that today is day 100 of the 100-day project. And this video is just a quick wrap-up of what um, I have experienced through this um, these last 100 days. We started on February 22nd, and today is the absolute last day of this project. And I have to say, I'm so happy that I did it. Because, you know, previous to doing this and my project, again, what I decided to do was to knit socks and read physical books. At the end, it turned out to be a couple of digital books, but the distinction really is that I was making was between audio and actual reading. So digital on the Kindle really did count. Um, and so um, it's been a fantastic journey. And let me just tell you what uh, I was able to get done during this time. All right. So I read uh, uh, six books completely and one book got started. So a total of seven books, uh, except the last one, of course, I'm still reading because I just started it a few days ago and it's not going to be done. I'm only like maybe 20% done. But anyway... Let me tell you what I read. The Purpose Path by Nicholas Pierce. The Light We Carry by Michelle Obama. Mastering Community and the author. I will remember after I look at the picture that I pop up. I'm going to pop up a picture so you'll see um, exactly what um, what I uh, was. The, the, the title of the first, I think, four were in this particular picture. I then read The Power of One More by um, Ed Milet. And I said then, I should have said also, because I'm not reading these in the order that I completed them. Uh, and then Everything is Figure Outable by, um, what's her name, Marie Forleo. Um, the War of Art by uh, Stephen Pressfield. And that was the first digital one that I read. And then um, Atomic Habits by James Clear is the one I'm currently reading. And um, I know you probably hear some sizzling in the background. It's because I am making breakfast. It is Thursday morning. And um, we are going to be getting out of here shortly. But I just wanted to make this video real quick. Um, I learned so much from each one of these books, I have to say. And so many common things in them. So many things were present in each book <clears throat> and I mean as you as I'm reading one author I'm like oh did they read the other author or who where did the, the information originally come from because everybody's talking about some of the same things in these books and um so what I'm I'm really happy is a I haven't c completed physical books like this in years I've been audioing so I could crochet and knit at the same time um so uh sorry all right. Um, so the fact that I have actually read all of these books uh, over this time really is impressive to me. Second of all, it renewed, um, reignited my love for actually like holding a physical book and just turning the pages. There's something about it, okay? Audio, I love because you can do more than one thing. You can listen to it in the car, but it's something about... Um, audiobooks and something about holding the physical book so i know there are people who are purists my husband is one of them where he just uh feels like uh audio is not the same and it's not i will say that i retain the information that i read a lot more when i do it on audio hold on one second i didn't want to burn the breakfast okay <laughs> um so anyway <clears throat> my love of just holding a book uh, has really been reignited. So I'm very excited about that. And, th and uh, the fact that I learned so much uh, from everything that I read, I thoroughly enjoyed reading um, little uh, excerpts from the books and posting that on Instagram. If you haven't followed me over there, I've been doing this for 100 days and that's where I have been doing it. And so some of the most poignant um uh, quotes, things that hit me the hardest, hit me in the heart, hit me in the brain. Those are the things that I read over on um, 
on Instagram. They're like two minute videos. Uh, and I give you a little progress on the projects I was working on while I was reading and speaking of those. Well, before I do that, I want to say that out of all of them, I love them all. This was probably my favorite. Well, this one and the light we carry. I don't know. The, this was good, though. This put me on a path of, uh, or just reminded me of a path I have already been on of really finding the thing that I'm supposed to be doing in this world. And um, I'm excited to be on that path. Uh, I love this book. I highly recommend it to anybody who asks me. I have told them about this book. And um, the term that stuck out to me was vocational courage and um, something I had not heard before. Um, and, you know, having the courage to do the things that you're called to do, um, looking and listening for your calling, that stuff is it speaks to my heart. So that's that. That was my favorite one. Okay. So what did I accomplish? Well, we got one complete pair of socks done. Because we were sock knitting, right? And, da, 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 so that's the only completed pair. However, here is another pair that are, they are ready for the afterthought heel. So these, though not completed, really close to being done um, with these socks. I feel like they, I don't know how you get socks to be the same size, but this one, oh my God, it feels like one is shorter than the other, but that's okay. Uh, these two are ready for afterthought heels. This was the, uh, this sock has no wool. Um, uh, this one is, uh, I think nitpicks chroma in the colorway red velvet. And that one is ready for afterthought heel. Then on this one, we have one completed and ready for afterthought heel. And we were able to, ah, sorry, get started on the mate for that sock. I do not usually have second sock syndrome. I usually am able to. Once I get it going, I'm going to do both. All right. So there you go. That is what I accomplished. That is uh, uh, the end. Today marks the end of the 100-day project. It is. It was a fantastic journey. I'm so glad I did it. And again, if you want to see and hear some of the quotes from all of these books, just go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I am at Kim the Crafty Nomad. And, you know, just get a little dose of inspiration <laughs> uh, from some of the things that I read. Now, um, I'm actually going to continue doing things like this. I just won't do it every day. But it will be done over on my um, TikTok because I think that's what I want to do with my TikTok Um um, account. So I will continue to read uh, anything that inspires me. Every once in a while, I will post that over on uh, TikTok. So follow me over there. All of that will be linked down below. Anyway, that's it. That's all for this short video. I'm excited that I finished this. And congratulations to everybody else in the crochet community who did do this, the crochet knitting crafting community who did this project and you are ending today. Congratulations. Congratulations if you didn't even get it all done, uh, that you attempted it is amazing. Um, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.